Welcome everyone. Um, today I am going to do a reading, really just a spiritual reading. Um, I'm going to leave it open to anything, but you know, I've been doing a lot of the monthly readings and love just keeps coming up, right? Um, but I think people misunderstand what, you know, what it's talking about. Um, you know, do you want the same thing back if it was bad? Of course you don't. And neither would your guides want that for you. Um, you know, but there's some people who do want people back and uh, people who do put forth the, forth the effort. Just like you may put forth the effort. So, I don't know why I'm saying all that, except I feel like um, we need some help with love. We're going to start with the Mother Mary Oracle deck. It's right at dusk on a Friday evening, though we still have some birds at our window. I like reading at this time because I feel like the night, like the night critters all start to come alive and I can hear them clearly in my window. We have present moment, present moment. I'm fully present in the here and now. Let me bring this down. I'm fully present in the here and now. Let's bring in the Tarot of Dreams. All the cards are already pre-shuffled, by the way. I just like to give them a few shuffles with you here. We have the Three of Wands. Well, you know, that's the way I choose to look at something, to look at, to look at things, to look at life. Um, three of Wands is where you have an optimistic lens. You know, I often feel in the Three of Wands, it, I'm not really even thinking about where I'm ending up. I'm thinking about the journey. I'm anxious for the journey. Remember, Wands is action, passion, desire. Um, and this is in a very, um, laid back type of energy. So, you know, there's a ship coming towards him and I'm seeing the pr present now, present now, present moment. All face up, we have the world. We have the Five of Cups. Interesting that's coming after the world. We have the Queen of Wands. Um, in this type of reading, though, I will say, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel it's, you know, nine-tenths the energy. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. So this is showing a, a chapter opening up or a recent movement into um, something. I mean, I love seeing the Three of Wands and then having the Three of Pentacles connected to that. You know, that is um, 
being passionate about something um, in your creative house um, that's unique to you. And um, listen, it can be the art of communication. You know, um, it's funny because I come here like at wanting to know more about love, but I feel what this is talking about is life, right? Love is part of life. Life is part of love. Um, and part of our life is meant to, you know, there's more than just love that we asked for here. Um, the love is probably part of it. But not for everyone. I have to say, um, like a life path eight, many times it is about the material world, the physical material world. And um, that is their goal. So that is, you know, that is their purpose. Anyway, anyway, um, you know, when the world shows up, it to me, it's the portal. It's the next portal right um the fool was right in the middle of this portal and um you know i feel like it takes the fool's energy which means you know if we look right next to it the five of cups well the five of cups is where it, the message in this card is where is your focus is your focus on it is your focus on what you have lost or is your focus on the opposite of that which would be the three of wands all that can be the five of cups talks about two cups that have yet to be discovered and because it's following the world it must be talking about those two cups um so i feel like right off the bat what this is saying for some of you you know love could have been um you know if you have a life path five there's a lot of changes in your life um, you know, that type of thing, like know your numbers also, know your life path, and then um, your personal year number. Um, I won't go into it here, but I have another videos. But anyway, because um, I just feel like there's a lot of different elements at play. Um, let's get our last two cards out here. Remember, we opened up with the present moment. I am fully present in the here and now. You know, that's where your miracles happen. That's where your signs are at. They're not in the past. They're not in the future. We have the hangman um, coming into that five of cups. <laughs> and then look at this. We have the ace of wands. So I feel like simply put, this is saying that sometimes in our life, a certain cycle, let's say, or pinnacle in your life is meant to be about your career your creativity right what you know your desire your deep desires that type of thing um and then manifesting it you know that's if you think of it if you think of yourself as spirit that's what you're here for you're here to manifest these different things these different experiences the five of cups i'm kind of lost though i'm kind of lost in the past right that that has hurt me still remains within me um and it makes sense you know, and we all go through it, but underneath it is the hangman. And I feel like it's just the universe saying, you know, sometimes this hangman needs to be here. That's a timeout. That's a period without, um, you know, it's a period where you're seeking wisdom. Maybe you don't begin that way, but that's kind of where you end up. You know, you may even receive epiphanies. I often feel like when I'm in some of my darkest energy, and um, I get negative, but then, like, if I put headphones on, listen to music, um, I tend to get, like, real messages of guidance forward. Um, and, you know, now I just know it. But it took, it took, a, it took a little while. Anyway, why am I saying that? Um, 
Because I feel like when you are, even when you're in the darkness, even when you are in that, um, that brokenness, um, you know, it is like, it's okay to take a moment out, right? It's okay to take a moment out, but we don't want to get lost in it. Um, take what you're receiving during that time and I feel like create from that. Now that can be a million different things. Um, though we have the Knight of Swords right next to that. So that's, you know, that is word. That is communication. Um, that is truth. That is honesty. Um, and, you know, your unique piece in that, in all of that. And then you have the Ace of Wands. There's that epiphany, right? Here, here I start at this three of wands, right? Thinking, imagining, you know, what could be. Um, maybe even more of that. Maybe I begin to take action, right? Here's the ace of wands. I feel like there it is. There's the opportunity, the inspiration. Um, like the hangman, I feel like probably has had an awareness. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Palace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, well, that makes sense with the Three of Wands being your first card. Because uh, that is the House of Passion. That is the House of Desire. Um, you know, it's reflecting in a positive way. We're going to bring in the light seers and we're just going to go ahead and break it down. Okay. Well, we have the hermit, um, card of Virgo. I feel the hermit is your your wisdom, your deep wisdom. Um, when you're in the hermit energy, um, you know you're learning things spiritually, and and for this physical world. <clears throat> you know you go in seeking the light in the hermit, um, but you know when the timing is right, as in the hangman, uh, you emerge from that cave with your lantern lit, right? It illuminates what's right in front of you. And sometimes that's all you need to know is what's right in front of me. Um, because, you know, that lantern will continue to light that way for you. And many times you become a lantern to other people. You know, I often feel the master teacher in the hermit. And then look at this. Hello, two of cups. Hmm, interesting. So that is soulmate energy. I mean, they are hand in hand. Their hands are interlaced. Their fingers are interlaced. You know that feeling when you just you just can't get close enough. It's coming over the world. And the three of pentacles, or yeah, the three of pentacles. Um, you know, I feel like. This is also saying for some of you that, you know, you have, we all have free will. Um, by the way, I have the strength card coming over the five of cups, which is kind of beautiful. But we all have free will. And many times we choose, like, whatever our, our energy is in, like the five of cups, that's what we're sending out, right? That is our energy. Um, so therefore, the universe matches that energy. And... Sometimes that's why you keep seeing the same thing, the same type of energy coming back and back, right? It's like a revolving door. You know, I feel like it's, it's our, you know, what are we meant to learn from that? We're meant to see it so that we can, we can close that revolving door really for eternity. Um... <clears throat> so anyway, it's interesting how I'll be talking and then I just forget what 
what I was talking about, almost like my guides are like, okay, enough of that. Okay, so we have the strength card over the five of cups. Um, you know, the five ask for change. We're in a universal year five. So change is just the way it is, baby. But next year is the universal year six, and, and that is about relationships. Big part of it is about relationships. And I don't know, guys, it looks kind of nice that if I'm heading into the two of cups, into a new relationship, um, that I'm doing it through the energy of the three of wands, my optimistic view and the hermit, my wisdom, my steadiness, my knowingness, right? And now I'm moving, I'm coming into that two of cups. Um, even if I look on the other side of it, you know, you have the five of cups, which is not so great, right? I'm kind of lost in all I have. I, I'm kind of lost in what I have lost. But the strength card is finding that within you. Again, um, you know, eight. I feel eight is about self. Um, so I have to find the strength within myself. Sometimes I get pulled to a certain type of energy and I gotta I gotta see that, right? Um, as, as weak as I am, so am I strong. And it's learning to find or tame the beast within, right? That can be, I have a tendency to bring a certain type of energy to me. Well, it starts within us. And I know not everyone's going to agree, and that's okay. Like, I am woman, hear me roar. Who's saying that? Helen Reddy. I think I told you before I sang that at my... It's either my 7th, 8th, or ninth grade um, choir tryout. That's the song I sang. And um, some of the teachers are like, Sandy. And I'm like, what? What? We have the excuse me the two of swords we have the six of swords we have the six of cups coming into that two of cups look at this we have the seven of swords wow wow first of all I want to say if this is about someone coming back to someone um and you're coming through the energy of the hermit and they carry anything um you know i feel like what's happening here for some of you i feel like this is about energy of someone that you were with um that for some reason hurt you um you couldn't trust them i feel i feel trust is probably the main issue you know it's very an emotional type energy and um Whether it happened or not, I don't know, but the feeling like it happened is there. And to me, it just, it's almost the same. And then you have the two of swords up there and that's someone who's got a blindfold on. You know, I feel like someone's saying, I don't, I don't want to repeat the energy. You know, this may be something that has gone around a few times again. And it's like, I don't want to repeat the energy um, of the past. Well... Okay, this tells you how, what needs to happen, right? Sometimes you need a time out. Um, sometimes you need to chase your own adventure and get lost in it. And boy, let me tell you, that type of energy, it brings in the world for you. It just does. And I feel like, it, you know, any two of cups that comes towards me in that energy, um, because they have to be vibrating where I'm at, <laughs> Or they'll just fade away. But I feel like someone, you know, it's kind of in my mind where I may feel, you know. Um, and I also feel there's energy like the opposite. Like someone is afraid they cannot resist uh, someone else's energy. Um, but, but I feel like you definitely can. 
You can. You just got to see it for what it is. So, let's get our, our last card out. It's interesting how I'm seeing this in a couple different ways. We have the Six of Swords. So, Six of Swords coming over the... Um, coming over the ace of wands is interesting because you know here are these blackbirds that are that are leading her leading the ship right taking her out of choppy waters into calm waters and here are these same birds that she looks at like they are birds of doom but actually they're there to help so this is leaving the toxicity behind this is the answer like the toxicity whatever that may be whether it be communication um thoughts it, whatever it is you know because each person is going to be different but it is leaving it it's figuring it out right we're in the five universal year you got to figure it out because we're moving into the six so if relationship is what you're looking for remember where's your energy six of swords you are well on your way of you know i feel more than anything of leaving those negative thoughts in the past where they belong and they'll just disintegrate they'll turn into nothingness <clears throat> wow okay i want to look at I want to look at the two of cups that's connected to the world, um, but also has the six of cups underneath it. I feel like some of you may be going back to um, a business where there was someone that you have fond memories of. Maybe you missed. And... Um, I'm wondering if something has the potential of starting up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a candle burning and it's scented and I should know better. We have the death card. Um, card of Scorpio. We have the hangman. We have the two of wands. And we have the Queen of Swords. You know, this death card can be an actual physical loss that you've had. And um, someone that you maybe, well, someone that you loved. And um, listen, it's hard, to fall, it's hard to have love after that again, right? It's hard to open your heart after that type of loss, I know. Um, but it's possible. And... Um, Um, I just want to say, because what I'm feeling like all of a sudden is I'm feeling like this guidance, right? This guidance of someone who, if if we're trusting the signs and we're thinking about our energy and we're like, what's my flow, right? Am I flowing or am I resisting, right? Am I letting every little thing bother me or am I picking my battles, um, right? Am I seeing what's toxic to me? so that I can eliminate it, so that I can live freely, right? Think about, like, I'm drinking something that's, like, chemically induced over and over and over and over again, and what it's doing to my body versus I go into the next war next portal and I'm drinking just water and, you know, like, my body is clear. And so, anyway, um... I do feel like, you know, some, it's trust issues. Like, how do I trust someone? How do I, how am I going to trust them? There cannot be a blindfold, number one. That's the first thing. Don't put a negative spin on it um, because that's the direction you'll take it. Instead, let's try, 
let's spin it in a positive way and um, let's take it step by step. Step by step. Um, I feel like the death card's also representing doors that are closing. Um, and the hermit, it, that tells me that who's ever been in that hermit type energy is emerging. I feel like, you know, you're down here getting excited again. Um, and I have to say, you know, I'm looking at this Queen of Swords over this Seven of Swords and the Hangman. I almost feel like she's she's looking at it. She's analyzing it. Um, she's taking from it what she can, what she can learn, and then she's moving from it. Again, in a way, it's like I'm taking what I saw as darkness and now it... I'm letting it lead me, right? It's it's not dark at all. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I feel like this is just a lesson of there's other things to explore. Um, and, you know, when you really want love, be love. And um, you'll find it. And, you know, the love that comes before you that is not worthy, let's say. Not that someone's better than another, but, you know, if um, you're a good person and, and, you know, you help others that are in need and that type of thing versus you get someone who's like a, nar a narcissist, um, you know, all your antennas will go up. So you just need to pay attention to that. And that's what the present moment's about, too. If you keep in the present moment, the things that you fear, you know, if there is a need, the antennas will go up first. Um, you know, but the hermit is like, and the way will be shown, right? The way will be shown, but you've got to be in that energy. Um, and I think I'm going to leave that, but I want to read... I want to read the card, present moment, Mother Mary, got the Palace of Wands, I just want to see what's under that, we have the Four of Swords, so you know the Four of Swords is under that palace, the healing, it's being healed, alright, present moment, you receive this card as a gentle reminder to keep your focus upon this present moment right now have you been reliving old memories rehashing ancient wounds or projecting yourself into the future if so you're missing out on life which occurs in the here and now mother mary guides you to enjoy the present no matter what's going on as you learn to extract the joy and blessings hidden within every experience you'll feel continue you'll feel continuously fulfilled in this moment beautiful and i'm gonna leave it there guys um you know in a way i kind of wanted it to answer the just what can it tell us about love you know why does love have to be difficult um you know sometimes we're learning sometimes we're evolving and um it doesn't always come from the joy it, can, it comes from the darkness and your ability, right? The strength card, your ability to pull yourself out of it, to see things, you know, for what they are realistically, right? No illusions. Like I pull myself out of, <clears throat> you know, you know, I feel like, and it's also saying like, I'm, I, I have to find a way to overcome this and maybe that's with prayer also um because i feel like it's a trust issue and how do i know the next won't do the same well the six of swords coming over the ace of wands kind of answers that to be honest right you know what's not serving you you've got to leave behind it's time like the death card says it's time time to close the old doors time for a rebirth The world is here. Here is the portal. I'm sorry. It includes the two of cups. Wow. You know, soulmate energy. Um, 
maybe for some it's not love maybe it's a collaboration right you have the three of pentacles down here could certainly be a collaboration but you know what it is is it's moving into the energy of soulmates um maybe in all different types and all different forms some of it is love though you know it, um there's no doubt <laughs> so you know the hangman had its purpose but I feel like now the hangman, you know, death card is saying, okay, close that door. Hey, no more hanging here. It's time to move into action. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys as always. Um, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for um, being here. And um, thank you for receiving the message. Today. They're going to be different for different people. And um, it could even be at different times. You know, I feel like my readings, you can find a reading from a year ago and it just feels like what you need to hear at this moment. Trust that. You know what I mean? Trust it. Um, so anyways, I love you guys. I will see you in the readings. Bye-bye.